out there and Kevin was doing well to get out the way of that so it didn't have a full effect but this is the exchange on the ropes four, five, six unanswered shots and then just you know give me some more come off the ropes this is what we want to see but it's okay doing that Mitch has got to really show it so he's trying Desperado big one yeah. out of desperation then having a little walk away well, let's go right. you're wasting, wasting it then you're wasting it right. left where he's blocking it you've got to get that left that left uppercut yeah. through the middle yeah. or the right hand one yeah, out of yeah. two yeah. jab jab left uppercut get close to it yeah. slip over it slip under yeah. Yeah. slip under yeah. Kind of underlines what you're saying, Paul. Yeah, just don't make it too obvious. He's got a massive left hook. It will land, but just disguise it. I, 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 if I was Kevin Mitchell, like Jimmy Tidd just said, I'd have a go. I'd concentrate on the left hook or the right hand for this round and keep the left hook away just to let him, Ricky Baines get nulled into a false sense of security. Save for Ricky Baines. I wouldn't go for the right hand as much as he's been doing it this round. Burns was standing in the middle of the ring. Mitchell a little bit slow off his stool and Burns was smiling at him. Mitchell needs to box his way back into this. The Tarzan chest beating might enthuse the crowd, doesn't win him rounds. Mitchell going to work again this time. Oh, sorry, Burns going to work again. This time Mitchell a bit cuter in the way he was, he was slipping the punches. For Kevin Mitchell, he's got to get back to doing what he was doing in the first round. The touch takes on his boxing and his jab. That was nice. A nice t he, he fainted the left hook and turned it into a nice uppercut and it caught Ricky Burns. That's what he needs to do. Burns needs to stop just going for the right hand only and, and doing, you know, he's got, he's got to not make it obvious. Well, it was what Jimmy Tibbs was saying. See you work off the jab and bring the uppercut into play. And he did it nicely, but now the strength of Burns again telling as Mitchell's forced back into his own corner. Heads getting in there, referee Terry O'Connor having a close look, shouting his instructions to the fighters. See, when Burns threw that last right hand, Kevin just raised his left elbow slightly and caught it easily. He blocked it easily because it's becoming a bit predictable from Ricky Burns. It needs to mix it up a little bit more. Got some good variety of punches. The Scottish Exhibition Centre reverberating to the chance nice of the right Burns hand. fans and that was a really quality right hand. And again. Kevin Mitchell at the moment is being outboxed. Oh, oh great shot! What a tremendous left hook! A great shot! And Ricky Burns put Mitchell down in this fourth round. And the referee's having a close look at him, asking him to walk forward. The action continues, and Burns lands another tremendous right hand. He's gone again, and it's going to be all over this fight. Twice down. The referee this time will want to look so very, very closely into the eyes of Kevin Mitchell. It goes on again. Two knockdowns, still 20 seconds remaining. Big left hand. He could go again, and again. Huge punches coming in from Burns, but Mitchell might see it. Ten seconds to, to go, round. John. Ten seconds to go. Mitchell needs to hold them. And it's all over. It is all over. In the fourth round, Terry O'Connor rescues Kevin Mitchell. Then in the fourth round, the man who supposedly was not a puncher has produced the win of his career and has stopped Kevin Mitchell. A tremendous performance for the Scotsman, and now Glasgow celebrates. Great finish, lovely finish from Mickey Baines. As you say, John, he's not a noted puncher. He caught Kevin Mitchell clean on the team with that shot, and it just disorientated his everything that he had. Great finish. He didn't let him off the hook. There was 20 seconds to go in the round, and he still put it on him, still took it to him, and got the stoppage win. Well deserved. Well, they will praise him to the heavens, I'm sure. That was a performance which reverberates down the ages. That was superb. Everyone said, if Baines wins, it's a points win. I said before on an interview, I fancied Kevin Mitchell if he was in shape, but I wouldn't be surprised by any result tonight if it was a draw, if it was a Baines stoppage, a Baines points win, a Rick, uh, Kevin Mitchell points or a Kevin Mitchell stoppage. 
I wouldn't be surprised with anyone and I'm not too surprised by that that was a great finish and a lovely fast sharp shot which caught Kevin Mitchell and Ricky Baird never let him off the hook well we can watch again how it unfolded that was one terrific shot Peach lovely shot Kevin was eight off it you know he got up on his leg seems okay until Terry O'Connor on eight, when he says box, he pushes him, and you watch Kevin just sag a little bit, and that's yep. when I knew he wasn't okay, but his legs seems... He landed some huge shots. Right hands this time, did the business. Yeah. The fact that he got up straight away there showed he was eight even more as well. Not not inexperienced, but he knew what he was doing on the first one to stay and take the eight. The second one, he got up fast. Might have been stopped there, I reckon, but now... Well, Mitchell was pretty well nigh defenceless, that left hand told it, and Terry O'Connor watching closely, watching, watching, and now he's thinking it's going to be all over because nothing's coming back, big right hand almost stopped it, yeah. now he does. And the bell almost stopped it as well, there was only like two seconds to go in the round, but which, you, which shows again another class finish from Ricky Baines because to, let, to, to get Kevin Mitchell out of there, three, no, three, basically three knockdowns, two knockdowns, and then the final burst at the end, Terry O'Connor had seen enough and stopped the fight, thankfully there's no harm to either fighter. Well, Kevin Mitchell prepared.